In this video, I'll be talking about centrism, both as a political position and as the underlying idea that there's some sort of center to the political spectrum, which can be seen as representative of neutrality, moderation, or pragmatism. And I'll also talk about how anarchism relates to those ideas. So how would centrism be associated with neutrality? An example of this would be news networks and the media presenting some conception of the left and right view on some topic without themselves taking a position as an attempt to be balanced. How would centrism be associated with pragmatism? This could be basically summed up in the idea that pragmatic compromise and working within the current system is the best way to get things done. This could be seen in someone saying, let's have market-based solutions combined with common sense government. And how would centrism be associated with moderation? This is basically horseshoe theory, the idea that positions in the center of the mainstream political discussion are moderate or reasonable by default, and the farther away from this center you get, the more unreasonable or extreme the ideas are. To respond to these associations, it's first good to point out that this entire concept of the center is entirely based around the mainstream political spectrum, which basically amounts to left as capitalism but slightly less bad and right as capitalism but worse. This is a range of ideas which does not include any room for critique of systemic problems that are built into the structure of capitalism. Thus, centrism is not neutral. It's right-wing just like the entire mainstream political spectrum it's defined by. Going back to the media example, the networks that might frame themselves as neutrally inhabiting the center of the political discussion are in fact owned by massive corporations which themselves benefit from the unequal hierarchical structures in society, which are unquestionable from the perspective of the mainstream political spectrum. The idea that this center can be identified and assumed to have some degree of neutrality is simply a way to assert a right-wing view of politics while pretending to not take a position, but every position is a position and no position should be implicitly assumed to be right simply because of how it relates to other positions on some chart that you've made. This is also why horseshoe theory is bad and wrong. So what about pragmatism? Are centrist political positions really more pragmatic? There is, I think, a little bit more of an argument here because you could say, let's figure out some sort of solutions to problems that the most people think are workable and good, and thus there's the most people supporting them and they're more likely to get done, right? Well, that would actually depend on what you're trying to accomplish. If you think the current system is good and you're trying to maintain it, then this could be seen as a reasonable approach, but working within the system is not a very strategic way to try to solve systemic problems. The inequalities and hierarchies of capitalism are fundamental to the system, and thus centrism is definitely not a pragmatic path forward towards resolving these problems and trying to get to a more egalitarian society. So, how does anarchism relate to these ideas? Well, I wouldn't say that anarchism is an automatic default position which doesn't need any sort of reasons to support it because no position is that, but I think those reasons definitely exist, and I think one of them is pragmatism. It's pragmatic to break free of political ideas that beneath the surface are really built to protect hierarchical power structures in society. From a centrist perspective, it might make sense to see pragmatism as finding market-based solutions for problems in society, but really the much more pragmatic thing is realizing that the very assumption of production for the purpose of profit for a few at the expense of everyone else is not conducive to solving any problem that has its roots in these economic relations. There are much better ways to organize society, and it's pragmatic to realize this rather than just taking the status quo as good, or at least as good as you're ever gonna get. If your goal is a freer and more egalitarian society, then it's pragmatic to have a political framework such as anarchism that uncompromisingly calls for that. 